Hello again, my peeps. How's it going today? Welcome back to Carpo's channel. Today is Saturday, February 5th or something, 2022. Today I'd like to talk about the truth and why the truth is not the truth. The truth? The truth. What is the truth? The truth is a term that we use to define what is real. And what is real would be what is true. Truth would be after all preconceived notions and expectations are thrown aside, as well as our biases, what is left on the table? But even with that, it's still very difficult to ascertain any real, valid, viable truth that we can all share. There are some basic truths we share. Things like, you know, if it's cloudy and it starts raining and you're walking in it, you're going to probably get wet. But there will always be somebody who will argue, not if I have an umbrella. There's always going to be a way to argue our way out of this truth. Um, I say the the only things we know ensure for life, that old saying, is death and taxes. But then people would argue that our souls live forever or that you don't have to pay taxes. In other words, no matter what one person believes, somebody will always believe something else. And getting to the bottom of the truth is only important for us to lead better lives and to better understand the world around us. What I've discovered is in my years, uh, in my humble, you know, simple corner of the universe where I've only learned the things that I've learned, I found that the truth seldom matters. Really only matters to us when we're trying to agree with someone else to the point where we can either agree to disagree or uh, even opinions can become truth for a lot of people, uh, you know, such as uh, you know, this person is a great person, or this person's a horrible person, or this band's good, or this band's bad, or whatever it may be, our different opinions about life. You know, I, I there's so many different ways to do things. And I guess, if anything, the message here would be, I, I'm always looking to try to inspire people to push themselves a little bit further, whether ment mentally, physically, whatever it may be. And uh, that often means I'm pushing myself as well. And sometimes being pushed out of our comfort zone, we learn new truths. I guess to use an example of where I'm coming from, so the less we know, and I'm not going to get into the Dunning-Kruger effect here, but the less we know, the more we tend to think we know, but also the more confusing things appear to us until we've actually done them. It's like when you're starting a new job. It can seem very scary, a whole new uh, you know, daily routine that you've never done before, and you don't know how it's going to turn out. And uh, usually within a couple of days, you have it figured out, and you're like, that was nothing. Like most things in life, once we really get into it, we find out that things are more complicated than we thought, and there's always several ways to do something. So like when I was working on my, I mentioned the other day, building guitars, and I kind of got way too into building several different bodies, which I'll be assembling later. I like to do things in groups. But uh, when I was building this simple guitar neck with a rosewood fretboard and a maple, I thought to myself, this is going to be difficult. I have to follow many different rules. I had to spend like a month learning everything about scale lengths, you know, um, frets and why they're spaced the way they are on different guitars and understanding uh, not just the sound aspect of it, but the actual wood and tonal qualities. So a truth to a lot of people is that electric guitar woods sound different, which is true to an extent. But um, uh, really, I watched a guy who strung out, you know, he used several different, he used the same exact electric guitar setup, strung out across the floor in, in his shop and compared it to an actual guitar with the pickups installed, and it sounded almost identical. As a guy who's into stereos and who has argued with people about speaker wire for years on end, because I have a video saying, hey, you might as well use lamp cord. You don't have to spend a thousand dollars on special gold cables because it's pointless. Really, as long as the signal gets through, the signal gets through, and interference with the signal is the only other problem. So same with building a guitar. There are some aspects of it that have to be done a certain way. But the more I learned, the more I realized that there is no way to build a guitar. And that's what fascinated me. And uh, I've realized the same thing goes for it. Because I was a carpenter for a long time, and I learned on the job site quickly that 
there's more than one way to skin a cat, so to speak, that people will find a new way to do things. But often, and this is the key here, doing things a new way is often discouraged. And as a carpenter, I learned that because people would say, no, that's not how you do that. You'd have these grumpy old bosses who were like, and I remember asking him, I was like, well, why wouldn't we, why shouldn't we do it this way? And he goes, because that's the way, not because that's the way we've always done it. And uh, I said, but isn't it nice to think outside the box and do something a little bit differently? In other words, I don't feel like people really fully th think through what they're doing a lot of the time. We're often on autopilot and we're just working with the truth that we have in our mind about how the world operates. Stepping away from that can be difficult. It means you're looking at yourself from the outside. It's kind of like uh, even buying electronics. Like I just got these uh, guitar pickups in the mail the other day. And I was thinking, well, shit, man. Like, do I want to spend 250 bucks on a pair of these? Or, you know, a fifth of that on a, a pair that's maybe not the same brand name. But understanding that there's a very small diminishing returns with spending a lot more. It's the same way with sports cars or, you know, with anything high end, you know, buying luxury merchandise or anything. It's a brand name a lot of the time. And I've always been about quality rather than brand, but often brand reflects quality. Uh, but anyhow, you find out that, uh, you know, half the people are walking around with like knockoffs, uh, knockoff clothes and purses anyway, and probably don't even know it. But it's truth to them. That it's real. And I think that's important. If we believe something, then I guess it's nobody else's business to convince us otherwise. Because there are a lot of people trying to tell us what's the right way to do something, the wrong way to do something. And often they're right. The thing is, we have to learn by each other's experiences. But if we never get our hands dirty, then we get scared off from trying a lot of new things that we might otherwise not try. That's a perfect example as building, uh, building instruments, building furniture, building houses, whatever it may be. No matter how good you get at a certain aspect or component, you're always worrying or thinking about how am I going to do this later? Something maybe you've never done because it's hard for us to try new things sometimes. It's exciting, but so here's my point. The more things that we learn and the more different ways that we learn to do things in our life, the more that will reflect in the way that we think. We don't instantly assume that another person is right because they tell us something or another person is wrong because they tell us something. I think that's key as well. There are some folks who believe that anyone, a certain person, whoever it may be, everything they say is wrong because they don't like the person and then they don't learn anything new. Um, this is very evident in religion in the way that a perfect example of truth or your truth might be to believe in a certain God and another person's truth is to believe in another God. Even though your truths may be similar, they're different enough. But knowing that one person believes something else and then, then other, another guy does, that can be very difficult for people, something I've also discovered. Like I've had Christians um, you know, come to my channel and, and ask me if I've you know, if I'm a Christian or I've been forgiven, a lot more so in the past. And I would kindly say, no, it's not for me. And by the end, they were calling me a, you know, a devil worshiping, you know, monster of the earth because I didn't believe what they believed. Not because of anything specific that I said, but because I don't agree with them on what they think is true. And so because of this, a lot of people, they give up on their own truth because they figure it's easier to take the path of least resistance and follow what other people believe and what other people are doing. This is how we fall into, you know, like groups and tribalism over silly things. It's, it's look at what's happening right now everywhere about just about everything. Everybody wants to be divided on everything. Um, I think what it comes down to is ultimate, ultimately, A, having the confidence in your own truth. And then two, realizing that truth will change over time. And three, realizing that other people's truths are completely different than yours. And most of all, realizing that none of it is probably the truth. <laughs> A lot of it's subjective, opinions, hopes, dreams. But that's okay, because that's all we got. We're human. Anyway, that's my ramble for Saturday. I guess the truth doesn't really exist 
on a level where people are ever going to share it. I don't believe in that utopia because it sounds actually pretty miserable to me. I think part of what makes life exciting is that people don't like what I like and I like I don't like what they like and it's interesting to know why what in people's minds make us different. And uh without that it, we're just a homogenized society which is not something that I would really want to be a part of. So at any rate, think for yourself. Um uh, as best you can, but we'll always be influenced by others, and um, I wish y'all well. Have a wonderful fucking day. Peace.